polynomials is a branch of mathematics in the topic of polynomials we are going to discuss various types of expressions like variables constants which come into existence but before that let's see the introduction of polynomials what are polynomials how do we define them in mathematics is what is today's session when we come to the introduction of polynomials let me come with the basic properties or the formulae which you have learnt in the lower classes to recap with the formulae as learnt in the lower classes one of the most famous formula is a plus b whole square or x plus y whole square so let's see how we can expand this we all know that this expansion is a plus b whole square is a square that is x square plus 2ab which is this and b square which is y square so x plus y whole square is derived to be x square plus 2xy plus y square we all know this formula because we have applied in many concepts in the lower classes now next comes why how this is related to the polynomial so let's see how this is related to the topic of polynomials as introduction as we see here every expansion expressed in the form of variables is a polynomial provided its powers are all whole numbers now what is the power of x for the first term x square the power is 2 next the power of x is 1 and the power of y is also 1 and next comes the power of y in the third term which is 2 for this to be a polynomial the condition is that each of the powers must be whole numbers as whole numbers of the real number system so if all the powers belong to the whole number then that whole expression is called a polynomial a polynomial with the powers being whole numbers is how we define for a basic definition of polynomial let's take one more example for example i have x plus y whole cube and i can expand this we all know that a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus y cube and let's see if this is a polynomial now the variables here are identified to be x and y the variables of the polynomial are the unknown constants which accept any real number so x and y are just representation of the real numbers in the real number system so any polynomial can accept all real numbers is how we define for the variables x and y or only x for the polynomial so for example if i have this i have the power of this to be 3 the power of this 2 the power of this 1 the power of this 1 this 2 and this 3 and i notice that each of the variable has the powers which are whole numbers and therefore this belonging to w makes the whole of the polynomial of the whole of the expression given out here to be a polynomial polynomial is defined through the powers of the variables if the powers of the variables are whole numbers then the expression is a polynomial if the powers of the variables are not whole numbers then the whole expression cannot be defined as a polynomial let's see an example which is not a polynomial to understand the concept more better for example i have say p of x i denote the polynomial with say for example p of x which indicates polynomial n variable x belonging to r then if i have this to be 3 plus 5 by x plus 4x minus 5x square and let's see how each of the powers are out here now 3 which is a constant can be written as 3 times of 1 which indirectly can be written as 3 times of x power 0 so i have my constant 
with indirectly the power of the variable being 0 because x power 0 or a power 0 is 1 and therefore 3 written as 3 times 1 3 times 1 which is x power 0 therefore indirectly I extract from a constant the power of the variable is assumed to be 0 for any constant in the polynomial or in the expression. Next if I have phi over x this can be written as phi times of 1 by x which is x raised to negative 1. So phi over x is phi times x raised to negative 1 therefore I assume the power of x in the second term is negative 1. Similarly I have my third term out here which is 4x therefore the variable x has the power 1 and therefore I have 1 as the constant derived from the variable of the third term. Similarly let's go to the fourth term. The fourth term has the power of x clearly seen out here to be 2 and therefore I just drop down 2 out here. Now let's check for each of the constants. I have the constant 0, minus 1, 1 and 2. Yes this is a whole number, this is a whole number, this is a whole number but this is not a whole number because minus 1 does not belong to w as discussed in the previous sessions. Therefore, since minus 1 does not belong to w, therefore the expression p of x given to be 3 plus 5 over x plus 4x minus 5x squared denoted by px is not a polynomial. It fails to be a polynomial because it's one of its integral power, one of its power of x does not belong to w the whole numbers. Therefore p of x is not a polynomial is how I identify the definition of a polynomial from the powers of the variables in this case x being the variable. If you like this video please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.